there are currently one and a half billion dogs on Earth, and around half of them are homeless. Most stray dogs die on the streets, victims of cars, starvation or untreated illness. Some arrive in shelters, and those deemed desirable might be noticed and become part of a caring family. On a global scale, these dogs are the lucky minority. Tragically, every year, 670,000 unwanted stray dogs are euthanized. So how should the veterinary community respond? Well, to date, our most effective strategy, bar none, is a worldwide stray dog neutering program. But is it ethical to neuter a growing puppy before rehoming them? Now, the answer to this question depends on our personal perspective. Some might argue that companion dogs inhabit an entirely different environment to stray dogs, and others might counter that rehomed strays are, by definition, our companions. Viewing complex choices from someone else's perspective, like for example a shelter vet, isn't always easy. But it does help limit our tendency to only accept science which confirms our pre-existing personal beliefs. Now, if you're interested in the subject of informed consent, in part three, I'll discuss how impartial healthcare providers use decision aids to help people make informed, values-based choices.